Five minutes till showtime. It's time for an intermission. And there's time before the next show begins to take your family to our concession stand. You'll find fresh hot popcorn, delicious candy bars, whatever your family desires. And you'll find the greatest treat of all, knee-high beverages. Yes, golden knee-high orange is the quality refreshment beverage that comes in quantity size. Everyone in the family will enjoy the true fruit flavor of knee-high orange. It's the beverage that meets all of your refreshment desires. Perfect for flavor, perfect for enjoyment. Treat yourself to the biggest treat of all, knee-high orange. And an extra attraction, this theater also serves quality famous Royal Crown Cola, the cola that's best by taste test. For real enjoyment, visit our concession stand and ask for Royal Crown. It's four minutes till showtime. See these two portable radios? Well, watch this. Let her go, Betsy. Sorry, friend. You old-style portables have to go. But look at our new RCA Victor portable radio. Came through without a chip. Here's the world's first and only portable radio in the non-breakable impact case. So rugged, it's the only radio case with a five-year guarantee against chipping, cracking, or breaking in normal use. Of course, a tube might jar loose, but that's easily fixed. The important thing is RCA Victor's non-breakable impact case means no chipping, no cracking, no breaking. And hear that tone. It's RCA Victor's great golden throat sound. See the world's only portable with a non-breakable impact case as low as $27.95 at your RCA Victor dealer. It's three minutes till showtime. Clothing values are high mm -hmm. and the prices are low. No. That's why at Robert Hall Robert Hall You save on family clothes No Rest easy mm -hmm. Knowing that Wario is just He's just code He's just programming Which means he's never going to be able to find love Ever He's not going to He's not going to be able to feel love He doesn't know what it is Mm-hmm He's not even happy about this. He doesn't have feelings. He's a piece of shit, garbage, dumpster, trash man. It's two minutes till showtime. Now there's a soft drink from the Coca-Cola company that makes it fun to be thirsty. Discover Fanta brand flavors. It's one minute till showtime. <whistles> yes, sir. The hot dogs at our concession stand do rate an appreciative whistle. You'd like. <laughs> I want to know the answer. Yes, there is an I. <sighs> yes, and now we're out of vowels. Banana. Convenience store manager. <laughs> it could have just as easily been oh, convenience store funny. banana, okay? Want to see how you're doing? Let's take a look. Settle back now, content, comfortable, well fed, and ready for some fine entertainment. Is everybody happy? Then let's go. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. Mm, we'll make an announcement burger. before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last minute treat. Good morning! If it's still morning for you, it's 10.03 for me. I think that still counts. Bop, bop, bop. Beep, beep, beep. How's it going, guys? 1 p.m.? That's still morning. That's still morning for me. Right? <laughs> Just in time for my hot tub stream. Yep. You've made it just in time. Okay, I think I've got everything all, all good to go. What's going on today? I, you guys, I can't, I can't string you along. I have to spoil a little bit of what's going to happen today. I checked the mail this morning. I have the shirt samples in my hands. I'll open those at some point uh, today. So that means, assuming the quality is fine, uh, they'll be good to go for season three of Bingo, which is pretty much entirely set up. Uh, it's about ready to go. I just have been, uh, I've been working on an album, and I'm on like the finishing stage. I'm mixing and mastering my album, and it's, uh, it's real stressful and time consuming, but I'm almost done. I'm hoping to finish it today. And then I can focus on bingo. And that's what's going on over here. Oh, I guess I should read some of these, huh? But that's where I've been. I, I wanted to do more uh, morning streams, but I've just been really focused on, on getting this done. Pain in the ass. Soft Crisps, thanks for the 47 months. Hanima, thanks for the 53 months. TM Kaz, thank you for the 11 months. So there's a there's a coin game update. We I think we checked it out a little bit before the mall. It's out now. Thanks guys. Can I tell you the genre? Um I don't know, you know, I was, I was discussing this the other day. I don't know what my genre is. Electronic music? Is that specific enough? Electronic music. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, see, not EDM. Uh, if you go to my SoundCloud, it's it's gonna sound more uh, of what I have made before. Let's start a new game in birthday mode, huh? Ba, 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 ba. And then um. Birthday stream is coming up. Our yearly uh, Fatty Bay, Fatty Bay, Fatty Bay birthday bay. It will be put on Spotify. I'm gonna put this album on, on Spotify. Fatty Bay's birthday. Madam Trash Heap, thanks for the 59 months. Electra Kelly, thank you for the 37 months. Sprout Stuff, thank you for the 81 months. Oh yeah, something else I should mention. Um, we, it's possible that we're seeing the end of the, the drive-in stream startups, at least on the VODs. I'm, uh, <laughs> I've got a, an issue right now. A, a company is claiming like all of my VODs. I have like 50 plus claimed VODs right now, and it's all because of my stream startup. Which I was under the impression was uh, free to use footage, but if someone's gonna claim it all, um, well, that's gonna I can't uh, I can't continue that way. They do that, yeah. We'll see. I've got my uh, I've got my YouTube contacts kind of working on it, but I have no idea. And I'm remembering now that's part of the reason why I tried doing my uh, my retro setup. 
when I, I ditched the drive-in for a while uh, was because then I would actually have made all of the stuff on screen, which just protects you from that kind of thing. But we'll see. I can at least make my own stream startup, you know, like my drive-in. I can make my own drive-in ads. It would just take a little while. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what I'm thinking. At least as a temporary solution, would be take them out of the the vods. Um, but we'll just see. I'll just have to see how it resolves. It's just kind of, oh fuck, that was a trick. Can I go now? All your favorite YouTubers are getting copyright claimed. That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> That's scary. It'll be fine. Or, you know, it won't. We'll just see. Last time I had this... I had this issue before, and it was because... It was because a band sampled one of the startup ads in a song, and then they were claiming my VODs. And I had to reach out to the band directly... And be like, hey, don't do that, please. And they were like, okay. But these guys, it's so weird. You get a con you get a claim. I've never seen it before. They don't tell you what they're claiming. They say, well, we're claiming this, but we can't say what it is because the it, the content hasn't been released yet. So we're just going to claim it. <laughs> so. Fucked up, dude. Is that new? This bridge must have been put in with the mall, right? Yeah, well, I'm not going to dwell on that. Just wanted to let it be known that that's what's going on. And if you see the drive-in <laughs> drive clips suddenly disappearing, uh, you know, I did my darndest to, to keep them. Made an album, and when you posted it to YouTube, every song was claimed. I remember when my Shinmu VODs were getting claimed by a vaporwave artist who literally was just slowing down the tracks and, and uploading it as their own music. Oh my god, that pissed me off so much. <laughs> that made me so mad. See you, Alyssa. Alright, it looks about the same. Let me read a couple things real quick. Ah! Ah! Uh, how do I? Here we go. Here we go. Hot dog sweet. Thank you for the six months. My kernel popped. Uh, keep it safe for work here, okay? We try to keep it clean here. Uh, si si siege, siege, in, siege in Mizu. Thank you for the three months. Cardigan Jezebel, thank you for the six months. Six whole months, holy heck. Thanks for all the cool vids. So lucky to have found such a cool community. Lots of love. Megan plus Dan. Thanks, guys. Now, I got a great community. I've been I've been very I mean a little slow in the Discord the past couple days as I do this music stuff, but I've been really enjoying hanging out with you guys lately. Okay. I think I think the lemonade stand might have been there before. There's a sub Discord, yes, for subscribers only. So there. <laughs> it's not bisexual lighting. I'm going to stand by this. I'm just going to double down and stand my ground. I'm not bisexual, so my lighting is, is not either. Prep for bingo is going great. Um, I It should be this, it should be this week. I'm going to be gone... Uh, 
I'm gonna, gonna be gone Friday, Saturday, but I'm planning on getting started before then, and we might just have a break while I'm I'm gone. Why do you get that comment every stream? Because it's a, a real original thought. <laughs> it's a real original thought to see to see two colors and uh, to sexualize the colors. Jerry's Gourmet Sammy's. I've not been playing RuneScape. I've been playing WoW, actually. I've been playing shitty current WoW. <laughs> Colors are really hot. <laughs> uh, let's get some ice cold local milk. Oh, wow. I want some local milk. It's got to be local, and it's got to be milk. I play a little bit of WoW. I play it on my Steam Deck in bed right now. Um, I'm, like, almost level 50, so, you know, I'm real serious. I just grind. I just pretty much just run around and grind quests until, I, <laughs> until it puts me to sleep. Mm, what a hamburger. Uh, I don't want any of this shit. Was the diamond store open last time? I don't think that it was. I get a new alarm clock? I have been setting an alarm to wake up. I was, I, I have hard time sleeping lately, but I've been sleeping well. And it's kind of a problem now, because now I don't wake up, so I have to set alarms. But it is nice to sleep better. Can't buy a. You can't buy any jewelry. Come on, bro. Gold fronts, iced anything, custom rings. Hmm. Why do I keep doing that? Bite Fennec, thank you for the four months. Bagels and berries, thank you for the bits. Uh, Twitchy Wampa, thanks for the 12 months. Uh, Edel W, thank you for the 12 months. Dude, a couple of year longs. You want to look at one of the shirts? I'm like, ah, burning with curiosity over here. I know I'm playing coin game, but in my head, I'm playing... Uh, Wait until I can open one of the shirts. I'm opening a shirt. Can you buy a grill? Let's see. How does he know how long I've been subbed? It tells me. It says it on my little, uh, my little alert thing. There was a Blart bot? I'll have to look for it. Okay, this would be the... I don't actually know if this is gray. Silver. Silver's like a gray. How does that look? It looks pretty good, but I did, uh, <laughs> maybe that's fine. So I put, you can't even really see it. Above and below Bingo 98 here, I put Brutal Moose in Season 2. Uh, but the colors are so close, you can't really see it. But maybe that's for the best. I wanted it to be there, so it says it. But I wanted it to be subtle, because that wasn't in the original design. You guys like it as a secret message? I didn't want it to be like, Brutal Mouse! That's actually not a bad print. I did test prints with somebody else, and I actually like this print better. Ah! I'm being attacked! Okay, so this would be the... This would be the, uh... The standard shirt. Let's see how it looks in this. Oh, I love the mom tattoo. Oh, he's got a coin game tattoo! Let 
They look rather similar. This would be the limited color. Are these silks? Oh, you can actually... See, with this one, you can actually see it. Right? See, this is the problem with these print on demand. It's like, well, why is this color different than this color? You can't tell. You can't see the Brutal Moose season two above and below the bingo. Mm -hmm. The colors are, are just slightly different. This is like a, a brick red kind of, and this is like a silver. I think I'm all right with these prints. I do... I do wish the colors were a little more accurate, but I realize... Hey, Rico. Ah! I'm always grooving, man. Oh, oh. I don't have black. Black won't work because of the design. There's too much of the black outline. You'd, you'd lose this. I had to do gray. These will be uh, available when I do uh, season three bingo later this week. No, I hate white shirts. I don't like white shirts. I think, I, I think I'm satisfied with that. I do... Uh, am I satisfied with that? Uh, I'm gonna have to think about it. I think I'm satisfied. I think I'm satisfied. I, I, wish, I wish the other one printed a little more like this, but that just makes this uh, time-limited one that much more exclusive. Why is it not wood grain? I wish. Okay, so... Awesome. Those will be ready to go, which means I might be able to do shirt giveaways uh, during my... Um, bingo stream. Worried about copyright with my accurate drawings? Yeah, you know, the pony, I think... I think the pony in particular is going to get... Uh, Hasbro or Mattel, whoever owns the ponies. I need to read the, uh, didn't, didn't Twitch just change a bunch of rules or something? I think, feel like I need to read the giveaway rules, so I'm not, I don't know what the rules are. I just want to give someone a shirt. <laughs> Must be quick. Must be quick would make a good shirt. It was about advertising and they recanted it. Okay, well, I don't really do, uh, I don't have, I've never had a stream sponsorship. Oh, I want a light sword. Oh. Just read the giveaway rules and just letting you know, I've reported your channel and Jeff Bezos is on his way. That's exactly what would happen. Jeff's already pissed at me, too. Well, he's yelled at me multiple times. Jeff has come down because people have reported my stream. And he's like, what the fuck are you doing? You can't have drive-in ads. Or you're going to get claimed. No, I'm kidding. He just stops by to drop off my Amazon Prime orders. I feel like I should put the shirt on. I'm like, I'm still thinking about the shirt. And also how hot it is in here. What are you guys? I'm going to change my shirt. So you guys behave and tell me what you guys are doing. Turn on a fan. I just turned on my, uh, my AC. Ooh. Fashion show, watching me change my shirt. So this is what I'm thinking for my morning streams. I think I'm going to do more uh, laid back morning streams where I just kind of like fart around. Uh, especially when I haven't been streaming very much. Risky content. Ooh, yeah, shirt changing streams. Ooh, my undershirt. Don't look at my undershirt. Listen, you want to know the secret? You want to know the real truth? Let's get real. 
I wear those special undershirts with sweaty pads in the armpits. And that's reality. Might be why I don't like white shirts. Dude, I'm like a sweat machine. I like, I, I'm i cold, I'm sweating. I'm hot, I'm sweating. I just sweat nonstop. Ooh, yeah, it like blends into my skin. It's like it's printed directly. Ooh. Yeah, those shirts exist. I saw them on Shark Tank. Uh, uh, some guys showed up on Shark Tank once and they were like, hey, I sewed pads into a shirt. Don't you want it? And I was like, yeah, I do actually, I do. I'm gonna change the, since I have a lot, I'm gonna change the description on this shirt and say that it is, it is Brutal Moose skin colored. I think I called it brick. Uh, but now that I see it, special edition, Yum. colored to look just like me. Is it pure cotton? I don't know. I guess I could look at the tag. This one is, uh, this one is 100% pre-shrunk combed cotton, but I think it came from a different place. So I'm excited to begin, finally begin my merch line where they all look like this. How does it feel to wear my merchandise that I made? I kind of like it. I've made merch before that I never launched. I should break out some of those. I had like four or five different artists make shirts for me and I printed tests. And then I was like, these test prints suck. I'm not selling this shit. And then I didn't sell shirts for 10 years. Oh, fuck yes. Who wants to make a wish? Make a wish, everybody. Oh, I am only releasing merch that I've created. All my merch is going to be ugly as shit. That's just going to be the theme. Ooh, you know what? My tessellation. If I could get an all-over print of my tessellation, that might actually be a pretty decent shirt. I'm wishing... Still wishing. <laughs> I like that BMBS themed employee uniform merch. It's a long wish, dude. It's it's not that long to wait for your desires to be magically granted, Sean. It's like under a minute. Mist I was working on a mist shirt based on my notes. I just didn't. Okay, let's let's do one at a time here. Let me get this shirt launched and then I'll do other shirts. Wish your flight got. Where are you flying to? I was about to say I want to fly somewhere, but I don't know that I do. I'd like to be somewhere else. Wait, is this on? It's clearly unplugged. Zolbot. <laughs> oh my god, well I love that. Make another wish. Wish again. Is she supposed to get like a card or something? It was unplugged in Big. Okay. I actually, I've never seen Big, so. I know that he dances on a keyboard, and uh, that's, I think that's all I, <laughs> that's all I know. Well, and I know that the Zoltar machine was unplugged. So, uh, now I know two things. Don't you need to use the little dial things? I'll try. I have to get the ball in the mouth. Oh, is it actually a game? What ball? 
Oh! I didn't even notice because you have to look down here to push a button. I didn't even notice it was dropping a coin. Does it have a... Uh, your... Wish is... Cranted? My wish is cranted. Any new games in here? Bum, 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 bum. Played it, played it. Oh, Pumpkin Pusher. Oh, it's Pearl Fishery. I don't love Pearl Fishery in, uh, in person, but digitally, it might make more sense. There's just other, there's other... Uh, coin pushers that I like over it. Ghost balls. Let me, uh... Ness Marsh, thank you for the 38 months. Home Skillet Sam, thank you for the two months. Try Weekly Asp. Thank you for the four months. A few months ago, I was graduating soon, and now I have a job lined up. Thanks for all the chill content to keep me sane. Hey, congrats, Tri-Weekly. I have tried the Angry Birds coin pusher. Uh, that one's actually a lot of fun. I, I like the Angry Birds coin pusher, because it can... Um, if you haven't seen it before, it can build coin towers it's really cool to watch them like construct the coin tower and it like grows up it's pretty sick it just looks cool like it's like how did they do that technology man Cabinet looks clean and clinical to be a pumpkin pusher. Yeah, well, it just looks like Pearl Fishery. Pearl Fishery is very, like, bright white. Mmm, what a hamburger. How many tickets did I get for the coin pusher tower or the coin tower I pocketed? Oh, I have no idea. No clue. I don't really pay that much attention. I'm there to play the game. I know that they're all ticket redemption games or whatever, but I never pay attention to how many tickets I'm winning. I'm just there to play the game. <laughs> I'm just there to play the game. Ba 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 ba. Oh wow! Yeah, we should have some like spooky sound effects. I asked for something spooky. Oh, I gotta stop doing that. No, no stalker. Thank you for the two months. Matcha Angel, thank you for the six months. Hi, Ian and chat. Happy six month subversary. My question for you and chat is what is everyone's favorite breakfast food? Ooh. What is, what is my favorite? Breakfast food. Oh, coffee. Yeah. It's a tough question. Does it have to be eaten for breakfast specifically or like a typical breakfast food? Because I don't eat. I don't like breakfast. I don't like breakfast. I think breakfast is an overrated meal. Uh, and I just I just prefer to pass. Coffee. Uh, but if I'm going to like an IHOP, I'm going to get either a, a Belgian waffle or I'm going to get just a stack of, of buttermilk pancakes and some bacon. Ooh, sausage egg sandwich is great. I love a sausage egg and cheese biscuit. That's like my fast food breakfast orders. Always a sausage egg and cheese biscuit. Ooh. 
Oh my god, chicken and waffles are so good, but like I can't imagine doing it for breakfast. Can you really eat chicken and waffles for breakfast? That's so much. When my family would have uh, like get togethers, it would usually be in the morning at an IHOP. And I don't know, I, feel, I just feel like I get nauseous when I eat in the morning. And it was always just nightmarish because you have to order food and then your whole family is like, why aren't you eating your food? And you're like, well, I don't really, I don't really want to. Ooh, croissants are also good. Chicken fried steak I see as a dinner. I don't. I know that they sell it as a breakfast food, but that's another thing that I just. I see every food as a dinner. Sandwiches are for lunch generally, but every other food is for dinner. Akasisco, thank you for the four months. Horti horticulture, thank you for subscribing. Breakfast for dinner is uh, very nice. Breakfast for dinner is pretty great. It, it is kind of, it's, breakfast for dinner is kind of like having dessert for dinner. I have had a croissant sandwich. Pretty good. I prefer a biscuit sandwich because it's a little more hearty. I feel like croissants flake. They smush and they flake, you know? We can't have smushing and we can't have flaking. Weebok gang, thank you for the 14 months. Coin game up to is pretty good so far. Most of it I've I saw during the beta, um, but I know that there's they added like a banking system in the strip mall. We'll have to go figure out what that's about. Ah! It's pumpkin time. I don't know what that means, but it's pumpkin time. This one is stuck. I feel like that's kind of a ripoff. Oh, there it goes. Go, 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 go. So you're trying to get... Yeah. I mean, that's a spooky noise. Yes, the mall is completely released. Your piercing noise of victory. Listen, hearing loss is terrifying, okay? Riley J. Bird, thank you for these six months. Hello, Mr. Ian. I'm here for my monthly pestering about Nancy Drew. I fulfilled my pestering quota for the month and will now continue to be a regular chatter. Love always. Thanks, Riley. We'll definitely get to some uh, Nancy Drew. I wouldn't be surprised if she's on the bingo list of prizes again. She'll probably just stay on the list until I actually get <laughs> actually get uh, to play another Nancy. It'll happen though. Given up hope on her ever getting picked. Well, yeah, it's been two seasons and it hasn't happened, so it's gotta be it's gotta be impossible. Might as well give up. I could just play another Nance. I could do a lot of things. I could do a lot of things. Uh, I mean, I'm going for the 5K. Oh! Rip off. Ooh, Titanic will be fun when we get there. How about a WoW stream? See? There's so many things I could do. So many things to pester Ian about. Silent Lucidity. Thank you for the 26 months. 26 months! I fell asleep to YouTube and woke up to Uncle Nick's Magic Forest VOD. It's gonna be a good day. Didn't I get another Uncle Nick's VHS? Don't we need to watch another Uncle Nick tape? How long were those tapes? How long were those tapes and... 
What would it be like if I completely derailed a bingo stream and and p made, put it in there and say, oh, we, we hit the Uncle Nick tape. We got to take a break to go to the Magic Forest. Oh, my God. I like that idea because I feel like a lot of the bingo... My bingo streams are definitely my biggest stream, so, you know... Only the regular viewers are going to know what the fuck is going on. All the new people... Oh! All the new people are going to be lost in the magic forest. Yeah, here's the thing. If we get Uncle Nick, you guys really got to vote to continue so we can watch the whole tape. Uncle Nick intermissions. Vote Poco. <laughs> I'll consider that. Not for this season, but I'll, I'll consider VHS diversions. I think that could... Actually, that could be... Re Hold on. Let me get my notebook. Oh, wait. This notebook. How much does this cost? Like, uh... In, like, a metaphorical sense? Or like a literal sense. Uh, VHS diversions. Bingo 98. I think that's a kind of a fun idea. Oh, the coin game game I'm playing. I don't know. You know, however much it costs. $2? 200 It's like 220 or 200 One of them. Have I played Amanda the Adventurer? That might have been one of the... Uh, PBG gave me some Bingo 98 donations, and I think that sounds familiar. Teeter-totter song. Oh! Fuck yes. Maybe instead of putting a whole Uncle Nick tape on there, I just put the teeter-totter song on. We were discussing... Uh, that there should be some type of bingo punishments. Like, it would be more interesting if there were negative things uh, that could happen. This this time, this season, I'm going to stick to the rules. No, I'm no more cheese in the rules. No more early skips. If I get a, a boring-ass game, we're there for 15 minutes. And uh, that's it. You got you to gotta keep me... You gotta keep... Okay. You gotta keep me to the rules. It's your responsibility is what I'm saying. If I don't follow the rules, it's really the viewer's fault for not accurately, you know, keeping me in line is, is pretty much what I'm getting at. <laughs> Disney Mahjong. Yeah, I don't think any Mahjong is in the... Well, actually, that's... I don't know that that's true. I did get... Uh, one of the Sam Dub binders had a lot of Mahjong in there. It's possible one made it in. I, By the way, I think I have cataloged all the games, so my media list should be accurate, at least on the Windows 98 side of things. Dr. Jargon Games. I won't spoil it. Punish me by making you watch baby mugs. The thing is, you gotta watch baby mugs too. I don't wanna watch baby mugs. I feel like... I feel like there's only so many times you can watch baby mugs before you're put on some type of watch list. Uh, it just doesn't seem like a thing that I should be frequenting. I like this. Well... No, let's play Gear It Up. Or Wheeler Up. <laughs> Random trivia games? That would be a punishment. Let's see how dumb Ian is uh, segment. What if I send you a mug with a baby on it? That would be a pretty great reference. Uh, I don't think I would want a mug with a baby on it, but I do think I would use it occasionally. Shit. To, uh confuse people 
geography class in Bully would actually be a great punishment. It needs to be a Windows 98. Ah! Okay. I can do it. I can do it. Oh my god, a bully Windows 98 D make would be awesome. Oh yeah, um Did anyone here play Slayer's X? The Hypnospace uh spin Doom spin-off game that came out? Uh, my boyfriend just finished playing it the other night. So good. So good. So many good references. So stylish. Haven't finished it. It's not something that I think I would play because I'm not really a Doom guy. But if I was going to play something Doom based, that's probably what it would be. Oh, fuck. Uh, Slayer's X. It's a spinoff of Hypnospace where uh, the character the character Zane from Hypnospace grows up and makes a game and it's it's like overly edgy uh, kind of like a comedy parody Doom game but it's got a lot of like hidden secrets a lot of cool level exploration yeah tons of jokes saw that and dismissed it as $2 shovelware. Yeah, it's actually really funny reading some of the reviews because some people don't, <laughs> some people clearly don't see it as a, uh, like they don't really get the joke, but they review it anyway, and it's, it's pretty funny. Like a Doom Pissed? Ah, that's not fair because it's like, it's like a, it's like a Doom Pissed, but it's actually good. Like they actually put in effort to make a good game. Looks like Duke Nukem. Yeah, Doom, Duke Nukem. I don't know the difference between those two games, honestly. Uh, well, one, you're you're either Duke Nukem or you're the Doom guy. I know that. Uh, where's my inventory again? No. Oh, come on, 40 bucks. Come on, 40 bucks. Fuck. Does it get meta at any point? Um, I don't think it does get meta. No, I think it's just... Uh, I don't even know that I would call it a, a parody. It's just a Doom... Doom-inspired... Hypnospace spin-off. But they have, like, really cheesy, like, 3D animation with, like, bad voice acting. Well, bad voice acting. Uh, really stylish. Well, that was tasty. But now I don't know what to... We don't know what to play next. Mm-hmm. wasted them on the floor. Good. Okay. Well, everything else seems to be as it was last time I was here. I like the Zoltar machine. Yeah, I'm gonna go look at the bank. That didn't work. But I know there's one in, uh... There's one in the strip mall, so I'm gonna head that way. Can I jump in the fountain? Probably? I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's like a six. There's more to do with Zolbot. Um.
What am what? Ah! How do I? Let me go! Wow! I can't get out of the game. I'm stuck. There we go. This one says, "Your wish is granted." Your wish is granted. Povey55, thank you for the 30 months. MZ96, thank you for the $6 and change. Ian, I've once again been making my way through your Shinmu VODs all over again. Seems like a series so perfectly made for you, and watching you fall in love with it is always a delight. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks so much, MZ. I'm having a pretty good day. I do love some Shinmu. I don't know when we'll replay Shinmu, but I know it's going to happen one of these days. And I'll, I'll use a guide to like make sure I get all the, the good shit. Can we get some pirate pizza? No! Yeah, we can get some pirate pizza. It looks like shit. Also, fuck pirates. <laughs> no, I have not revisited Shin 2. I've been playing Shin 2 uh, offline, but last time I played was the was the part of the game where you're going up the that destroyed building in Kowloon and you got to cross the planks. Oh my god, I was there for hours just falling off the stupid fucking planks, and I got so pissed. Okay. So I haven't played it uh, since then. All pirates in chat. Listen, listen, if you're a pirate, it's fine. Well, actually, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I don't know if it's fine to be a pirate. Uh... Pirates be gone, yeah. Yes, in Shinmu you do visit uh, Kowloon. You visit Kowloon in, in Shinmu 2. Oh, man. Okay, let's go see if we can find the, the ATM. Bum, 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 bum. That was a trick. That was a trick. I wish I could do like a wheelie. They just they can't bathe is the thing. Pirates can't bathe. They're on they're on those boats for so long they get so so gross. I'm sure that's what everyone's thinking when they're watching Pirates of the Caribbean. They're I'm sure everyone's just sitting there going, these guys gotta stink. These guys gotta be some stinky guys. They go swimming. Well, that'll that'll get you nice and clean. Lots of scurvy. Surrounded by water also doesn't sound fun to me. Just not my uh, not my scene. What else do we don't like about pirates? No. Egbert Live, thank you for the nine months. Ari Lou, thank you for the 17 months. Lemon Lori, thank you for the 24 months. Sonosuke Live, thank you for the 200 bits. You, you like your pirates a little stinky. Well, that's the, that's the only way they come, so you're in luck. Oh, shit, I can get batteries? Fuck you, dude. Fuck your prices. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, I got distracted on the way to the bank <laughs> by a lot of scratchers. It's fine. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Pirates might just... I think pirates might be mean. Pirates do seem like they might be mean. Ba 
You won the max on one of those? I don't think I've ever hit the max. Where the did my bike go? Have you get, uh, guys been liking the Summer Games Fest? Any good... You guys see any good games that you like? It's a good... It's a good... <laughs> it's a good time to like frogs. Uh, lots of frog-centric things. Wholesome Delect Direct had a lot of frogs. Frogs are very wholesome. Um... So frog games and like farm games. Also notice a lot of like top-down games. I wanna ride the bike, dude. Dragon's Dogma 2. I did not hear about Ace Attorney coming to the scene, but that's awesome. Mm, what a hamburger. I'm trying to think of what else I saw that I was interested in. Or what I saw that I guess I didn't name a game I was interested in. Uh, I think you're done with the farming games. Yeah, farming games are a time investment. Mm -hmm. Where's, is that the strip mall? I'm trying to think of any game. What game did I like from the directs? I'm, I've mostly just been clowning on them. Dude, the, the Xbox Direct was like... It was like a bunch of movie trailers, man. A bunch of cinematic cutscenes with super good graphics and absolutely no gameplay. Ah! You know, I actually thought the Star Wars game looked kind of cool. I'm not a big Star Wars guy, but I did used to play some of the games. And when they when they got out of the story sections, which didn't look very good, uh, w like a GTA-ish kind of Star Wars experience does sound fun. Yeah, I was interested in Starfield, but I think I would rather Star Wars. Did I miss the turn again? Oh, yeah, what was with the Fable? Tra were you... Was were the Fable games always different stories? Because the Fable trailer was the one with like the little tiny girl, right? Were you always like a teeny tiny person in Fable? I never played him, so. Betty's Butthole? Oh, Betty's Boutique. Okay, that's a little more appropriate. Maybe you can only use this on, uh, you, mu you might be only able to use this on the survival, uh, the survival game. Do not enter Betty's puddle. Uh, it's closed. It looks like it was closed, so. I'll get some gooey bears. That's the cookie! That's the cookie. Monster Collectors. Oh, yeah, I saw that. There was that Pokemon ripoff game. Man, I'm trying to think of any game. Uh, did I not like any game? I don't think that's true. I think I saw some. Pokemon ripoffs have been disappointing you. There was one that looked like really... I was trying to get in this car. There was one Pokemon ripoff that looked very, very... Like, even the the Pokemon designs were like, is that not just a Pokemon? I'm pretty sure that's just a Pokemon. I don't remember the name of it. Ah! Devolver did have a good show. You know, I haven't always been on board with their... Their, uh weirder presentation sometimes it's just been annoying to me but i did like this one i thought i thought this one was pretty good oh yeah pokemon with guns yeah i mean I, none of those are interesting to me but it, it's interesting that they're being made
Only saw one Devolver show. Yeah, they don't have the um, the CEO lady that was kind of a a theme for at least a couple of the a few of the Devolver shows. It seemed a little uh, lower energy in a, in a good way this year. Hmm. I'm gonna go UFO Arcade. Never seen me wear orange? I've got orange on a shirt. I don't think I have an orange shirt. It's skin colored, okay? It's flesh colored. Board B14, thank you for the three months. Jador DK, thank you for the 11 months. Eclipse of 27, thanks for the 45 months. Went to the drive in this pack past weekend to see Greece. I've always wanted to do that. Always cool to watch the old school previews in person. Yum, yum. Ah! Yeah, that, uh, I would love to go see Greece at a drive in. That'd be a lot of fun. Am I drinking coffee? Of course I'm drinking coffee. Topless. I like that. I'm going to change the, the color, the description of the shirt. So yeah, my next stream will likely be bingo. And I will uh, I will detail how to get your own bingo season two shirt. Bum, 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 bum. I gotta work more on my movie review too, man. I, I haven't worked on it in a few days because I've been doing music stuff. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Chilling at the park. Thank you for the prime sub. Excellent. Thank you for the 68 months. Kata Wolf. Thank you for the 35 months. Hi, Ian. I'm watching at work because today is slow as hell. Hope you're fine and I'm still better than you ex at Sonic Racing. Doubt. Doubt. Oh, how was that with Luke? Oh, yeah, I did. I got to, um, I got to hang out, virtual hang out with my, uh, my boy Luke Youngtown yesterday, and he gave me a bunch of, um, advice on how to mix and master tracks, uh, which I, I will say I was a little disappointed that, you know, not, not his fault, but the process is, uh, not as cut and dry as I was hoping. It seems very, uh, you know, every every track is going to be different, and uh, there's no set rules, which I don't like. I like nice, clear rules, but I have been working on mastering, and I think the tracks are sounding better for it, so I, I'm grateful to have a musical friend. Very loud. Weasel B, thanks for the six months. If there's anything I love more than going to a real mall, it's going to a virtual mall with Ian. Excited for the next season of Bingo. Thanks, Weasel B. What DAO am I rocking? I use FL Studio. I, I like to call it Fruity Loops. I miss when it was called Fruity Loops. Yeah, they got laser tag. Luke is not guest starring on a track uh, on this album, no. But I do think it would be really cool to someday make uh, something for him to rap over. I think that'd be really fun. Ah. <laughs> Loved Fruity Loops as a teen. Yeah, I, I originally... Oh my god, the sound effects are so loud. Yeah, I originally got Fruity Loops in, like, junior high, maybe? And just been using it off and on ever since. Keep wanting to invest in Fruity Loops. Don't know if you could figure it all out. It is a lot. It is a lot. Ah. Bum, 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 bum. 
It's it's fun though. Just need a MIDI controller. I don't even like I'll use my MIDI controller uh to figure out like to to generate ideas, but then I end up just clicking the notes in anyway. I mainly just click click my notes in. Ah! Die. Come on. Oh yeah, Ben, I wanted the I wanted the amnesia bunker update. I read uh good things. Much more of an adventure game than the last two. Feels a lot like the first. How scary is it? How uh What is this song that's playing? How's how many scares have you been scared, Ben? Can I not get on these boxes anymore? There we go. What is this song? Game over. Yeah, Ben's not going to admit to being scared. Isn't scary for me, but I know you have a low tolerance. Okay, Ben. Okay. I consider myself to be very um, stalwart. I have uh, nerves of steel, is what they call them. Oh wait, no, I wanna, I don't wanna get jawbreakers. I wanna play the game. I'll have to look at uh, screenshot. I don't even know where the new Amnesia game is set. In a bunker. Yeah, how loud are the sound effects? Ah! Uh. Oh, wow. What's the. Do these. I don't think these sound effects. Get, you can turn all the volume down and uh, they still make noise. Did I do anything for Grimace's birthday? Fuck that. Grimace is a piece of shit. Okay, let me turn the... That's right. What, do people like Grimace now? Is he making like a comeback? I did get McDonald's recently. It wasn't yesterday. I got Domino's yesterday. Grimace took over social media yesterday and won over the hearts of all. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm not on the socials very much lately. Uh, and I don't have a heart, so it just doesn't really... It's not really my scene, you know? Where are they keeping Ronald? Where do they have Ronald locked away, huh? Where'd Ronald go? That's what their campaign should be. What the fuck happened to Ronald? He deserves to be locked away. I don't necessarily want Ronald back. I just want to know where he went. Where is? Where are they keeping him? Uh, 
Yeah, that's how I remember it too. I remember him getting kind of phased out during all the clown scares, but it could also just be because marketing fast food to kids with a clown isn't, uh, you know, maybe the most noble pursuit. Check my Windows 98 desktop. I downloaded him into my computer, and that's where he lives now. He's buried in the ball pit. That's a scary... Is he still alive? Is he just down there chilling? I'm waiting for the kids to, like, step on him or something? I could actually you know what I could see that for Ronald. I could see that for Ronald. He seems like the kind of guy. He's always wearing those big old shoes. Oh. Oh, it's not working. No, oh, no, I'm stuck. I'm gonna go to a mini golf, dude. PC games that only came with food. Remember Chex Quest? I do remember Chex Quest. I don't know that I have Chex Quest. I definitely have another McDonald's game in the Bingo 98 lineup that we haven't hit yet that I'm just so eager to play. The Burger the Burger King games. I actually do have all the Burger King games. I have an, a Burger King game idea that I'll I'll do one of these days. Grimace's new skateboarding game? Did he actually get a new skateboarding game? Matt Daniels82, thank you for the five months. Been loving seeing you stream more often. Love the 98s. I'm happy to be streaming more as well. I, I'm still not up to where I'd like to be, but I'm getting there. It's an in-browser game. I'm not interested in that. I want to play the. I want to play the Paul Blart game. I want to stream the Paul Blart game. I got to figure that out. What up, cool ace? I am doing well. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> No one blarts anymore. It's true. It's over. Oh, fuck. Need blartaholic. I'll watch Paul Blart 2 one of these days. One of these days. Of course they run over me without any remorse. I'm a I'm a lowly human here. They're robots. They're like that's what you get for being a a sack of flesh. Yeah, the, the Paul Blart Flash game, that's the one I'm talking about. I tried to stream it around the time I put my Paul Blart video out, but I couldn't get OBS to capture the Flash windows. It just refused. Started streaming at the exact same time Xbox started another showcase. Yeah. I'm trying to compete directly with Xbox, okay? I got announcements, too. I got a shirt. I got a bunch of YouTube copyright claims. What else do I have to announce? Uh, nothing. That's it. But that should be enough. It would be fun to, to have a, an event like that to host. Maybe next year when Summer Games Fest comes around, I could try and get, try and rope in some people with game trailers that didn't make the Summer Games Fest show. 
and have an Ian Fest. That would be fun. That would actually be a lot of fun. Rent out a theater stage. I probably would, wouldn't do that. I would probably uh, have it here in my office and just have an applause button for when I said something cool. The best thing would be if, uh, what are you? I need to reserve the right to say anything about the games so I could play a trailer and be like, wow, that looks like shit. I'm not going to play that game. I'd never play that game. Let's look at a different trailer. <laughs> uh, that would be amazing. Ah! Okay, I'm going to mini golf. I keep getting distracted by my great ideas. I'll do a gaming show where I only accept Shinmu inspired games. The Brutally Honest Game Showcase. See, there's potential there. Wow, this looks terrible, but, you know, maybe they'll get it together before release. So, put it on your wish list if you think there's potential here. More frogs? Are you kidding me? Isn't a hundred frog games enough? No. <laughs> oh, wow. This might be the best arcade, honestly. A little sushi roll. Thanks for the 46 months. Sup, Moose and friends? I just woke up. No, I hope you slept well. Iwamura178, thank you for the five months. Hi, Ian. I'm mostly a VOD watcher, and today I could do cleanings while chilling with RuneScape VOD. Thank you very much for your work. Thanks so much, Iwamura. Does it let you on the ship, like on the roof? That I don't know. Oh, they should add a jetpack in the coin game. That would be dope. I'm, I'm still trying to think of any games from the game show that I liked. I should have written them down. I know there were at least one, right? There was at least one. Oh, yeah. I guess this arcade doesn't have Dunko. That's a good point. That's a good point. Oh. Persona is brutal BF excited for Persona. Not, I mean, kind of. Not. I mean, we didn't finish the one game. There's the game's so long. Uh, mildly, I think. I think we'd have to finish Persona, whatever we were playing, before we move on to another one. Oh. Yeah, I think Persona 5 was what we were playing. It was really, really long. It was a problem with the Yakuza games, too. Because when he plays games, he's very, like, thorough. He'll, he wants to, like, explore everything and do literally everything. And so, oh my god, Yakuza was taking so long with, like, the the RC game and the, um, the one where you, like, recruit people to work in your club or whatever. There's no way we're going to get through that. There's no way we're going to get through Oh. Yeah, that's part of the, that's part of the reason uh 
I don't know about Yakuza for me. It just seems like too much. Same reason like GTA, like I've never actually beaten a GTA story. It's just too much for me. I get distracted and then I get bored. Yeah, the, I don't like the combat either, but it doesn't seem hard. It seems like you can just button mash. Yeah, arcade games and gambling I can do. That I can manage. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I've been working on in Unity again, too. I really want to make something. Well, I guess I am making something, but I want to make more progress on it. Shit's hard, man. Making a game is uh, hard. You see all these games, and you're like, that would be so easy. I can do that in a day. I'm sure that's what everyone thinks. <laughs> okay. Usually have teams for that. Well, that just I'm that's not gonna happen for me. Teams working together, collaboration. No, no. Silver EX VII. Thank you for the thirteen months. Thank you for the bit, Sonos K Live, and my boy Big Slime. Chad has how many people? Yeah, Chad's. Listen, Chad. He, you know, we can't all be Chad, all right? I'm I'm afraid of working with people, honestly. I. Uh, I feel like I used to collaborate easier, and now I don't. Oh. Just get Ben to do it. Yeah, Ben, learn some Unity for me. Why don't you? <laughs> But hey, you know, I'm getting better at music, so when I do make something, it'll be much easier to do the soundtrack. So that's... Uh, I'm making progress in some areas. Mm. I would collaborate with, like, uh, Jeff or Austin. Yeah, I would, I would collaborate with close friends, but outside of that... Uh, it's, I'm definitely not as open to it as I used to be. Not that I was very open to it, I guess, at all. I'm I, on top of everything. I'm just a micromanager, um, which might be good in in some industries. I guess it might be good to, if you're managing something to micromanage it, but uh, I just see myself as someone difficult to work <laughs> difficult to work with. Everyone that has worked with me in a long period of time, they basically just, like, know me, and they, uh... Oh! I don't want to say they work around how I am, but that's how it feels like. <laughs> Mooshine, thank you for the seven months. Walnut, 440, thank you for the two months. Raindog, 2020, thank you for the seven months. Hey, Ian. Been loving the streams lately. Bingo98 is truly this channel's renaissance. IDK, what else to type right now? Hope all is well in your world. Thank you very much, Rain Dog. Deffy Deffy, thank you for the prime sub. And Hastily Wasted, thank you for the 11 months. Do I not work around their style? Uh, no. No, I want to make things in my style. Uh, if it's going to have my name on it, I'm going to be really picky about it. And, uh... I worry about being so picky that I, uh, like, bother, like, bug the shit out of people. Oh, shit. 
Yeah, Ian's way or the highway. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if I did have, if I did want to collaborate in some way, I would need to like really prep for it and really like lay out exactly how I want everything done. And that just sounds like a lot of effort. I could just do it myself. Oh, wow. No shame in realizing I work better on my own. I agree. I definitely think I could, you know, benefit from some more help occasionally, but I do like, I like doing everything myself too. So I, that's, it's hard to get me to give up control if for no other reason than I just like to do it. I want to do it all. Oh. It is a bingo shirt that I'm wearing. Be sure to tune in to Bingo Season 3 happening soon. <laughs> mm, what a hamburger. Uh, and you can get one of two colors. Ooh. Oh, here's the... It's silver. I see it as more gray, but they say that it's silver. Yes, I do edit all of my own videos. I don't have any... I don't have any help. Um, I'll, I'll do occasional things like when I had Luke, um, you know, I, I hired Luke to write a HelloFresh song for me, stuff like that. But I typically do everything myself. Oh, wow. Which is really fun. Not really, you know, your, uh, your content creator gurus, uh, advice people will not say that it is a good idea. But that's what I like to do. And I've been making videos since before YouTube, and I've been doing it on my own. So I'm just going to keep doing it that way. The merch is not out yet. I, I will, um, it will, it will go live on episode one of season three of Bingo, which will happen this week at some point. That's not optimal. It's not time management. I'm not outsourcing my editing to a different country. I watch, I watch some poker vlogs because uh, the World Series of Poker is going on right now. And the guy I watched was talking about how he outsources his editing to Korea. And I was like, I didn't even know, I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> Uh, music is coming out this month. Um, I can't give a specific date or re my me the music is oh, the music is being used for something. Oh, that was bullshit! It just went right through the wall. The music is being used for something, so I have to wait for that something to also be done. It should be this month. Uh, but I'm, yeah, I, I don't want to say too much. But that's what I'm going to do after, after I'm done streaming, I'm going back to, to mix and master the last tracks. Oh. Or Brutal Foods. I don't know. Um, next month, maybe? Next month is when my next HelloFresh ad is, so it would make sense. Um... I think next time I do a food, I'll probably do a gadget video. Oh. I gotta get that big top cupcake going. Uh, but I don't know. I don't have any plans for... I'm working on a movie review right now. And then after a movie review, I kind of want to do a thrift video. I haven't done a, like a thrift video since I did the first one that I spun off into mystery tapes. So I think a, a thrift video would be a fun... Uh, change of pace. I can't tell you what movie it is. No, I don't want another Paul Blart situation where <laughs> it gets uh, oversaturated before the the video comes out. Maybe I'll maybe I'll let you guys uh, know what it is when I'm a few days out.
I know. I, I did do that. That's why I'm saying I'm not doing it with this. I'm recognizing my mistake and changing as a person. I can't trust you guys with that knowledge. Oh. Gumby. Oh my god, the Gumby movie was insane. Actually, not a bad idea for a movie review. It's true, not everyone is terminally online, but I am in my my own Discord a lot. And it was pretty blarty in there on the lead up on the lead up to the video. <laughs> oh. Very blarty. <laughs> that was pretty good, you know. What is that? Twenty two over? It's gotta be a record. Hames Jaloran. Thank you for the nine months. Hey, Moose and Chat. I'm at work right now, but hope y'all have a great day. Also, any chance of doing a Paul Blart 2 review? Keep on keeping on. Probably. Probably. Um, I'm not sure when, but I do I do want, genuinely want to know what happens in Paul Blart 2, so I would not be surprised if we see it pop up again. Twitching Money, thank you for the four months. Croony Moons, thank you for the six months. I too want to do it all. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not alone in that. And Biston, thank you for the 23 months. Hey, Ian. Hope you're having a nice time. Always good to see Coin Game. Gonna lurk and listen while I play a game of my own. Anyone else playing something while watching? Watching Paul Blart 2 every day for a month. I feel like it's gonna be watching Paul Blart 2 twice a day for two weeks. Paul Blart 2 every two hours for two months. How's that? That one's that sounds pretty good. Actually legit the what I am actually considering since I don't know when or if I'll even do this. My initial thought was uh Paul Blart 2 for two weeks straight in that I would just have it playing on my office TV constantly while I'm in here uh, doing my work. And it would just be always on, always playing. Uh, oh my God, even during streams? That would actually be kind of funny. I could have it kind of in the background and then have a a headphone. One headphone is my stream audio. The other is Paul Blart 2. Yeah, we'll see. Blart can Yeah, I don't know when that's... Uh, when that'll happen, but probably. I want to do more. I want to do more movie reviews. I really like making my movie reviews. I think they're some of my better content. Oh. Oh. Can I reveal the genre of the next movie? Oh my god. Um a family action comedy? Question mark. Okay, I need to play some Dunko. I can't not play Dunko. <laughs> Tooth Fairy. Why'd you both guess Tooth Fairy? 
I do want to. I do want to review Spy Kids at some point. It's not Spy Kids, but I do want to review Spy Kids. At some, I think that'd be great. I think you. I could do a Spy Kids video. That's Spy Kids. Uh, didn't they do three? One, two, and three D, or was it one, two, and then Shark Boy and Lava Girl? Dude, my bike is stuck. There's a four? One, two, three D, and four? Holy shit, is it the same kids? Okay, my bike is stuck. I've lost the bike. Shark Boy and Lava Girl isn't related to Spy Kids, but it kind of is. You know, it's thematically related. It's still, uh... What's his name? Robert Rodriguez? Ramirez? Robert... What was his name? I read his book. Rodriguez. Did he do all of the the Spy Kids or did he just do the first one? Let's see here. Spy Kids. Oh yeah, he directed Spy Kids, Spy Kids 2, Spy Kids 3. Wait, Spy Kids Armageddon came out this year. Still written and directed by Robert Rodriguez. Oh, it's upcoming. Spy Kids Armageddon is an upcoming spy comedy film. So this is... They also had a... Animated... Netflix show? That ran for two seasons? Dude, the Spy Kids universe is a lot bigger than I thought. Spy adults. It's the Spy Kids iceberg. Top 10 Spy Kids facts you didn't know. I watched every Spy Kids movie so you don't have to. Oh, sh dude. Oh, I'd love to be able to hop on that truck. Spy Kids Cinema Sins. No place I Everyone's clicking on these videos. The right I know some some AI is probably listening and just like picking up any idea I spit out to uh, send to my all my YouTube rivals, all those the rivals I got. streaming I feel like I've maybe milked coin game for the moment how have I been streaming how do I figure that out it's only been an hour 40 are AIs actually trained with your stream content I have no idea maybe I don't know Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. Sims. I don't have Sims set up. I'm going to play some Dunko. I just have to get there first. I can pretend to open the shirt again. Whoa! 
the colors. I can't wait to make a million dollars on these shirts. This is what's going to make me the money right here is my new fashion line. Well, I personally ship you a shirt if your provider won't send one to Denmark. Mm -hmm. Maybe, Chaka. I think that they will. Hopefully. These shirts are going to be $50 each, so get ready. Get ready to cough up some cash. You know how much how the process to upscale this design to fit on a shirt? It took years. The salmon shirt is the limited the limited color. Or the flesh. Ian's flesh. Oh, it's up here. The unlimited color is going to be this gray. Which is also a good option. Honestly, I might wear the gray one more since this one is so colored of my flesh. But I don't know. I, I also still, I kind of like it. The, the flesh shirt is going to be real, made of real flesh. That's what the price is so expensive. Ian's Fresh Flesh Bingo 98 shirt. That's what I'll make the title. Yes, that is little little fucker the pon the pony is on my shirt, and he's making horse noise. Just a, just a single one. He's gonna say he's making horse noises. Uh. The gray one looks easier. It looks cleaner and easier to see. The biggest difference between the two, I think, is that you can't really read. This one you can see Brutal Moose Season 2 here. And this one, it kind of bleeds in. I could change this color to black so it's more visible. What, what do you guys think? Would you want it to say Brutal Moose and then Season 2 here a little more boldly? Or do you like that it's kind of like a subtle, uh, you know, someone's got to get close and like really look right at your uh, titas to see what it says. Subtle? That's what I'll do then. In blue? No blue. No blue shirts. Only gray and flesh. No, no purple. You get gray and you get flesh. And that's it. You could get a marker and, like, color the shirt. See, it's got to be a... It's got to be a... A brighter color because there's so much like you got to be able to see backpack backpack down here you got to be able to see horse noise uh, otherwise I probably would have done a black shirt because I like I like black shirts Completely forgot what backpack backpack was. How do you forget backpack backpack? Flesh color one is really good for tie dye. Can you tie dye a shirt that has a design on it already? I guess that makes sense. I've never thought about that. Interesting. Well, that could be fun. Why not? I don't know. I don't know why not. I've just never thought of it before. Mighty Bob Barker, thank you very much for the 43 months. Hello, I promise I am human and not AI. Please proceed as normal so that I may watch and be entertained 
and not steal data. Hey, you know, at least you're subscribed. If you're an AI stealing my data, at least consider subscribing. I think that's a fair exchange. You're gonna tie dye your Garf shirts? I believe that. Yeah, I would kind of think that tie dye might like ruin the print or like, is it gonna change like the, my, I put so much detail in the CD here with the shine. I wouldn't want to ruin uh, the the high quality graphic design here. For real though, the shirts are going to be uh, $20. I think I said it before, but they're not actually $50 shirts. I'm keeping them cheap. Take 10 shirts. Come on. Other merch in the future? I don't know. I don't know. One shirt at a time. You know, this these shirts took me 10 years to get out. So, you know, check back in another decade and maybe we'll have another shirt. The D didn't light up because it's got a... The... This light has to be on it at the same time the coin goes through. Yeah, this is the first brutal merch ever. I don't think I'm going to do like a plush or if it's something about versions of me sitting on a shelf, I don't like. Uh, that's part of the reason why I didn't do merch for so long is because the only option really seemed like putting some type of illustration of myself on it. And I just it ended up not, it kind of creeps me out. But this, you know, my soul is in here, but my face is not. So, I like that. I like that about it. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what, pe what people are going to do with moose plushes, but I can guarantee you it's not all going to be nice. Body pillow, absolutely never. <laughs> absolutely never. If I ever if I ever launch a body pillow, be wary, because it's probably like a ploy to like collect everyone who buys one's IP and, and block them from my channel. <laughs> so they can't come back. So just be prepared if a body pillow ever does launch, it's it's most likely a trap. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> oh. There we go. Don't make body pillows long and thin enough for me to be on. That's true. I'm too tall to fit on a pillow anyway. No. 
No, people are gonna defile these body pillows, man. It's not a good idea. How much do I reckon the shirt is gonna shrink after watching it? I don't know, it says it's pre-shrunk, but I don't even know. Or the gray one at least says it's pre-shrunk. So you would hope not any, but I have, I don't know shirts, man, I don't know. MJ plush? No. No, I would I would take a an MJ plush of of mine. For like for me. Now BMBS had more like some BMBS branded merch would make sense. And my face is not on there, so I I do like that. So anyway, as I was saying earlier, I'm really picky about things, and I feel like I would be difficult to work with. <laughs> I want merch. I just, I can't be on there anywhere. You just can't put me on there, all right? PMBS trucker hat? That's kind of cool. I would want a beanie. Move. Give us the blindfolds. You're, I, I'm not going to print my eyes on something for somebody to have. I just won't do it. This guy is mine now. Ooh, bandana would actually be kind of cool. No bandana with my eyes on it. Not happening. They did it on Ellen, so it's over. That the joke is over. <laughs> oh boy, I'm just gonna go off into the distance here. So we got the shirts. Is basically what I'm saying. We got the two shirts. This, for all we know, this could be the only Brutal Moose merch that ever launches. Uh, as we, as we've seen today, I'm quite resistant to the idea for reasons I can't fully explain. Oh, come on. Oh, that's cool. Cardigan, you should send me a picture of that. I want to know what the shirt looks like, the chill truck shirt looks like. Yeah, this is where your self-driving cars get you right here. More passive income could mean less. The thing is, I feel like to make money on merch, you got to charge a lot for it. And I don't want to, I don't want to charge a lot for like a shirt. When I've talked to other creators about like how much money they make from, from that kind of a thing, it doesn't seem to be very significant unless you have like a really, really big following. Yeah, I'm not losing money. I think I, I, I think I'm making like a dollar or something. I'm gonna make a dollar on each shirt, which should just cover like fees and whatnot. But I cranked it way down. I feel like I feel like if you wanna support the show with money, 
you could just do a donation, and then if you want, just want a shirt, then you can just buy the shirt. That, that makes sense to me. Will they ship to the UK? I think so. I would think so. Dude, a Brutal Moose branded coin pusher game, I would I would maybe agree to that one. Even after my I don't want my face on things uh, rant, I think my face on a coin pusher would be pretty amazing. Plop every time you, you drop a coin down in there, I mean, yeah, that I would be fine with. Just want to spend $50. Well, here's, here's the thing. If you want to spend $50 on the shirt, you could buy a shirt and then just give me $30 and then you've spent $50 on a shirt merch has not dropped yet I just got these in the mail merch is going to drop when I start bingo later this week I was hoping I could maybe get abducted or something. Oh, wow. Cognetto! Thanks for gifting those five subs. Thanks so much, Cog. I know Vinny42, thank you for the 29 months. Thanks, guys. Yeah, the shirt should be the shirt should be 20 bucks plus shipping or whatever. That is. Let me let me triple check to make sure I'm not putting out bad info, but I'm pretty sure. Uh Yes, the shirts are print on demand. Why isn't that working? Huh, okay. Well, I have to I have to figure this out before I start. Now it works. Yeah, $20. $20. For some reason it's all fucked up, so that's good to know before I launch. Where or when you can get the shirt? You can get the shirt uh during the next season of Bingo 98, and I will announce uh, where during those streams. Did I see Corridor Crew did Animorphs? I don't know what a Corridor Crew is, but that's pretty cool. CGI YouTube channel, BFX artist, okay. I don't watch like any YouTube videos, man. The algorithm, the algorithm doesn't push me things I want to see, so I just don't, I don't watch very many. Are there any like popular, like sketch troops? I was thinking about this yesterday. Are there, is anyone doing good sketch comedy on YouTube right now? Something like uh, like Derek Comedy or Balloon Shop? Sketch era has ended. Ah! And I'm not talking about... Ooh. I'm not talking about sketches like in... Uh, like baked into a review or an essay format. I'm talking like just a sketch. Joel Haver. Sketch comedy isn't popular. There's some good sketch shows, but... I definitely don't see as much around. Oh my god. Am I so blurry? Because I'm underwater. Yeah, 
Eric Andre is on again. Yeah. Is it good? The last season was... I'm not going to say bad, but, I mean, compared to the rest of the show, bad. <laughs> so... Joel Haver. Okay, I will I will look him up. Yeah. Eric Andre really didn't work without Hannibal there. Without Hannibal there, and I feel like he kind of his man on the street stuff isn't as good either. It feels something about it feels weird. I still have this theory that instead of doing just man on the street, he's He's setting up like these elaborate like Craigslist situations where he's hiring someone for a job and then like fucking with them when they show up or something like that. Yeah, Astro Man, I, I have played Hypnospace. I was actually earlier talking about the spinoff that just came out, Slayer's X. It was really good. Wizards with guns. I don't know them either. Punk Rock Sock. Thank you for the $5. I heard we're donating. Also, hi, Ian. I'm a longtime fan and have been enjoying your recent streams on the VOD channel lately. Really excited to participate in chat and enjoy the chill vibes. Hope you're doing well. Thanks so much, Punk Rock Sock. I'm doing pretty well. Yeah, Eric Andre isn't really even sketch comedy. It's like, uh... Pranks, I guess. Prank comedy? He's like a prank guy. Mm, I don't know about shock comedy. Maybe. In some in some instances, yeah. I feel like most of it is just kind of like trying to just trying to make people uncomfortable. Treehouse got an update? Definitely absurdism. Bum, bum. I really need to watch season three of I Think You Should Leave Again. Because I didn't like it the first time, but... That doesn't mean it's not good. Yeah, Driving Crooner was great. It had, like, some standout sketches for sure. Uh, but, I mean, season one and two, I just couldn't stop laughing while I when I first watched them. So, a little unfortunate. But also, you know, I didn't have the expectations going into it the, the, with the first two seasons. Yeah, I agree. I just need to I, I need to watch it again. I think I might have been a little distracted. I think I might have gotten a little bored and distracted. Which is not really what the reception you want on your comedy sketch show, but Which were you asking about? Uh Oh, Eric Andre. Okay, guys, I think I'm probably going to wrap it for today. Uh, my mind has my mind has moved on to music. I'm ready to... I'm ready to work on my, on, on my final mixing and mastering. Pinna DK, thank you for the two months. Just wanted to say thanks for the chill streams, dude. Not a problem. Thanks for tuning in. I'm entering the music zone. I'm going to re-enter the music zone. Okay, so this week, expect... Oh my god, it's already fucking Tuesday? Ah. Okay, well, I'm going to... I guess I'll try to start bingo tomorrow. Uh, no promises, but if I'm going to be gone on Friday, Saturday, I need to get at least... Two, I don't want to start it and then immediately leave, so I feel like I kind of have to get it started tomorrow. Um... I think this season I might just kind of go live whenever and then next season go back onto like a schedule just because my my this month's schedule is kind of hectic just don't stream it so like I was streaming it at 3 right 3 is not late
why not wait till next week? Because then I've then I've gone so long before I do another season. I, just, I don't feel like I need to wait till next next week. What general time frame? Yeah, see, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna drop these shirts when we start bingo. Here's the thing: I want to do so much. I want to do enough bingo to where you can't make all of the the live shows. I want to be that productive. Uh, so it might, you know, you might not make all the live shows, and that's fine. That's what there's there's bonds for. Am I gonna pick them up again too? Like pick these up? I'm gonna pick them up again too. I'll sure I'll pick them right up. Oh, if I drop the shirts. I got you. Yeah, I'll, I'll... No. No, you guys pick them up. That's your job. Okay, so look out for... I don't know, maybe bingo tomorrow? Uh, I'm gonna try and... I don't know. We'll see. I gotta do my music first, and uh, we'll just see. I really want to get going on bingo, though. Oh, you guys want to go watch Luke? I'll send you guys to Luke. I won't. I won't raid many people, but I'll. I'll raid Luke. Okay. If you're looking for more chill streams, I'm gonna send you over to my chill friend, Youngtown. Not sure what he's doing. But uh, I'll see you guys next time in, in the next couple days, all right? Bye-bye. And now, folks, it's time to say goodnight. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. Good night.